the relationships we establish on FPDA exercises and activities are just as important as some of the other broader goals of capacity building and interoperability. After all, it's the relationships we establish at the junior and middle level on these exercises that can be exploited at later times at the medium, middle level and senior level of command. In FPDA, we, we have a number of constraints on how we operate, but we're not only training uh, to be an FPDA force, we're building capacity in each of the nations so that those uh, capacities can be applied in other roles. And should FPDA forces need to come together in a broader coalition for another purpose, then the relationships we establish on FPDA will be vitally important. And relationships are very important because whenever you turn up in a coalition, it's not the systems and the capabilities you bring, it's whether or not you look across the table and you can identify someone you know and someone you can trust. And if you have those two elements present, then there's not much you can't do. So that's why the FPDA relationships we establish here on exercises and activities are vitally important and we encourage them tremendously.